All right, guys, let's compare some ratios. Here's a word problem. On Saturday, a, cup, a coffee shop sells 80 cups of coffee and 8 cups of tea. So there we have 80 and 8. On Sunday, the coffee shop sells 24 cups of coffee. So you have to make sure these are lined up, right? If the coffee's on top, let's keep the coffee on top. And 6 cups of tea. On which days was the ratio of coffee sales to tea sales the highest? So actually, I looked ahead and saw coffee sales to tea sales. So if it says coffee to tea, you want to put the coffee on top. Right? So that's why I put the coffee on top. If it's a tea to coffee, you'd put the tea on top. So you have 80 over 8, 24 over 6. So the idea is to just simplify these and see which number is bigger. Right? So 80 divided by 8 is 10. 24 divided by 6 is 4. And so the ratio of coffee shop, of, of coffee to tea is definitely bigger on Saturday or the first day, right? People were more interested in coffee on Saturday than they were on Sunday for some weird reason. So Saturday. Caleb plays soccer and hockey. In March, he scored 10 soccer goals and five hockey goals. In April, he scored 35 soccer goals and seven. In which month was Caleb's ratio of soccer to hockey the highest? So it looks like the pattern is that they're always going to give us the thing on top first, but you should be careful, right? You should read it. So it's the ratio of soccer to hockey. So 10 over 5 in March. So we'll say March. And April is... 35 over 7. Okay, so this is 2 and this is 5. So which has a bigger, which is a bigger number? In April, he did way better in soccer comparatively, right? His soccer game in April was really strong. So we're going to do A, April. Jackson plays soccer and hockey. In March, he scored four soccer goals and two hockey goals. So again, I'm going to say soccer to hockey. So I know March, four to two. In April, he scored 27 soccer goals to three hockey goals. So this is going to be two, and this is going to be nine. So. Nine is bigger, so we're going to go with April. Okay, Jackson's guitar so so again, I'm going to look here first. Guitar uh, guitar st sticks store sell higher ratio of acoustic guitars to electric guitars. Let's that tells us which ratio we're looking for, which to put on top. So 28 acoustic, so July. 28 acoustic, 7 electric, August, 40 acoustic, 10 electric. So this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 4. That's 40 divided by 10. But what does that tell you? It means that people liked acoustic, I mean, the, the ratios were the same in July and August, right? They were the same. They didn't change. They were both four. Meaning, the relative popularity of acoustic versus electric guitars stayed constant. Acoustic guitars were always more popular, but they didn't get more or less popular from July to August. So neither. Olivia and her boyfriend, Austin, both want to read the same two books. One is a fiction book, and the other is a nonfiction book. It takes Olivia 32 hours to finish the fiction book, and it takes Austin eight hours to finish the same book. If then, it then takes Olivia 40 hours to finish the nonfiction book, and it takes Austin four hours. For which book was the ratio of Olivia's reading time to Austin's reading time the highest? Okay, so there's fiction. And that is 32 hours uh, to eight. And nonfiction 
we have 40 and 4. So this is a 4x ratio, and this is a 10. So Olivia is comparatively worse at reading nonfiction uh, uh, when compared with Austin. I mean, yeah, I, the, the, word, I mean, the math is easier to just see, right? So which number is bigger, 10 or 4? 10 is bigger, so we're going to go with nonfiction. Also, let's not comment on the fact that Austin's reading way faster than Olivia. Nonfiction. Nathan and his friend Christopher both want to read the same two books. One is a fiction book and the other is a nonfiction book. It takes Nathan eight hours to finish the fiction book and it takes Christopher two hours to fi finish the same book. Okay, so we're gonna go fiction. We're gonna see that it's Nathan to Chris. So we're gonna do eight over two. Nonfiction. 63 over 7. Which number is bigger? This is 4. This is 9. Nine's bigger. Nonfiction. We're getting into a you know a groove here, so we don't have to explain every detail. So we're doing Addison to Jacob. Fiction. Addison 16, Jacob 2, nonfiction, Addison 48, Jacob 6, which number is bigger? This is 8, this number is? Eight. So those two numbers are the same. So the ratios are equivalent. Benjamin Hill plays soccer and hockey in March. So soccer goals, two hockey goals, March. Twelve soccer goals over four hockey goals, April, 18 soccer goals, over two hockey goals. So this is gonna be three, this is going to be nine. Nine is bigger than three, April is the answer. Soccer goals, two hockey goals. They could trick you at some point, right? So make sure you have the right numerator and the right denominator. So 30 soccer goals, March. 30 soccer goals to three hockey goals, April. 20 soccer goals to 10 hockey goals. That's three, that's two. Three is bigger than two, so we're gonna go with March. And the Happy Cupcake, Happy Cupcake Company. Ooh, that's hard to say. So what's the ratio of Happy Cupcake Sales to Tasty Cupcake Sales? So Happy goes on top. And the two comparisons are, let's just read ahead, morning and afternoon. So in the morning, it's 10 Happy Cupcakes to two Tasty Cupcakes. In the afternoon, it's 12 happy cupcakes to three tasty cupcakes. So the morning is five, and the afternoon is four. So we're gonna go with morning because five is bigger than four. All right, guys, I bet you guys are ratioed out, but look for them in your life and have a good day, and I'll see you next time.